Hello everybody, I'm going to be creating a mixed media canvas today. I am using a 5x7 canvas. You don't have to use a canvas if you don't want to or you can't get your hands on one. Uh, I suggest either a piece of chipboard or you can even take some cereal boxes and layer them together and that actually might be pretty cool because you can put uh, cut them out in any shape that you want so you can uh, come up with a unique design for that as well. I am prepping my canvas with some black gesso. This way I don't have to worry about any white spots later on after I add all of my embellishments and do all of that. So after that, after I paint it, I am going to be adding some fabric and this fabric is from Finnebear as well. And like always, I will have all of the links to all of the supplies I'm using in the description box below. But I suggest heading on over to my website. It will have more photos and also the video. And the supply list has uh, pictures so that you can see exactly um, what I was using. And it has the different uh, shops that you can purchase them at. So be sure to head on over to my website. All right, so this is really thin material. So I just tore it in pieces and then layered them on top of the canvas. And I'm using the black gesso to paint it as well as gluing it down. It will hold just fine. And I'm adding a very uh, generous amount so it will just adhere all of that fabric and it doesn't look like much after it's painted but once I start adding all of the waxes that's when the magic happens and you could see all of the details and textures in all of the fabric it's really cool so I just am speeding this up just so that I can show you that I am painting it all and again I am adding a very generous amount and I flip my canvas uh, upside down and sideways that way I know that I'm getting all of those nooks and crannies and in every little fold. After I completely cover this material I'm going to add some cheesecloth and I got this at Walmart I think for about five bucks and it lasts me a long time and I wasn't really worried about covering the whole canvas I just wanted a little bit more texture in the back of my canvas and again once I start adding the uh, waxes you'll see what I'm talking about it's hard to tell right now because it's all black if you have large pieces of lace, that would be really neat as well, or even like old jeans or any type of fabric would really look cool for this project. I had a little piece of this doily left and I'm just going to add it in the center and I'm going to add all of my embellishments on top. I have this chipboard clock that I've had in my stash forever. I want to say it's maybe... Uh, Blue Fern Studios I'm not exactly sure maybe Leaky Shed Studios it's been in my stash for so long I don't remember but uh, at this point you're really just trying to layer different items so that you have that focal point so your eye is going to be drawn to your focal point and I have this resin frame from Prima and what I'm doing here is I am adding some just some string around it and that creates a really cool texture so I'm just showing you I didn't really realize that I was off camera and it was unfocused but I think you guys can do this it's really easy you just wrap it around and I'm doing this uh, just on the sides of the circle and I really love these circle uh, resin pieces I'm definitely gonna have to get more and this just again it creates just really cool texture and interest to your project and I crisscross them and overlap them just to give it a little bit more um, design just gonna speed this up so you guys are not bored I do the same to the other side and you can always add uh, like chain or like if you have like old necklaces or anything that you think would 
be really neat after you add the waxes. You're just basically trying to create lots of texture on your project. And then when you start adding the waxes, I feel like a broken record, but when you start adding the waxes, it will just show up and look really, really neat. So it doesn't really matter what it is, what color it is, because you're gonna add the black gesso to it and then add the waxes after. So I, I'm doing the same thing to the other side. And this is just some like cotton thread uh, that I got at the dollar store, I think. All right, so I am good with that. And I glued the back so the string would uh, adhere to the back of the uh, resin piece. And this is just some like plastic, I don't even know what it is actually, but it was in a Prima uh, like junkyard findings package. It, come, it came with like some light bulbs and I've been wanting to use it on a project forever. And I thought this one was perfect because I'm adding the other string and this one is thicker and it'll just add a lot more. After all of that is glued down to my canvas, I'm going to start adding all of my other embellishments. And I'm trying to create my focal point in the center of that circle. And that way, my uh, when you look at the canvas, your eye will be drawn to the center instead of just kind of all over. I think that's the most important thing when doing a project like this is having your main focal point, but also having a lot of different textures and different things going on throughout the canvas or project. And, um, but you really definitely want to try to have that one focal point that people, people's eyes are going to be drawn to. In whatever you use to add the different textures, your embellishments and all of that, it, like I said, it does not matter because you're going to be adding the black gesso and painting the whole thing with the gesso and it's all going to be covered up it's just going to add texture so you can use uh, rocks you can use eggs i've seen people use eggshells which looks really cool uh, you can use plastic bags tissue paper all kinds of different things to add the texture to your project after everything is glued down i am just painting over the canvas with the black gesso and I add just a little bit of water because I want to get in all of those nooks and crannies and it doesn't matter that it's going to be a little bit watery. I let it dry and then I paint, I do another coat of the gesso and I didn't realize that my camera uh, turned off. I think the battery died at this point, but I think you guys get the point of just painting the whole canvas and all of your embellishments with the black gesso. All right, so you wanna make sure that the gesso is dried completely and because you have that fabric, it might take just a little bit. So I actually uh, heat set it a little bit and then walked away for a while. And then I am now coming back and adding my first uh, wax, which is Mystic Turquoise. It's super pretty and it is the Antique Brilliance, which the Antique Ones has a brown undertone so it looks more antique-ish. <laughs> and I am trying to decide how I want this. I didn't know exactly how I was going to add all of the color, and I didn't know if I wanted to gradually get to the, um, if I wanted to go lighter in the center, but then I just decided to add it to the whole thing. So as you can see, it's basically 
going over all of the raised areas and it looks really cool in person and you can just see how how much depth and just all of that texture starts showing up so I use a one specific paintbrush when I uh, use the waxes and that way I know that it's for the waxes and then I'm not ruining all of my other brushes with the wax so I lightly brush on my canvas and you could see that I am just dipping it into the wax and then I take the um, the top of the wax uh, bottle or container and then I kind of brush it off a little bit that way I'm not getting globs of the wax and Abby wanted in on the action so I was just kind of showing her she thought it was really cool so she, I'm just showing her uh, how to do it and I think she does pretty well so she did it for a little bit and then was kind of over it so see I'm showing her to kind of wipe it off and then that way you get just a little bit of that wax on your paintbrush and then you lightly brush over all of that texture on your canvas. All right, I am now going to add some Bronze Age, which is a metallic wax. And this one is more like a metal finish. And I wanted to break up some of that blue. I just thought it was just way too blue. And I wanted it to be more antique looking, I guess. So this color is really, really pretty. And I'm just adding it over some of the blue not really going over all of it but just in random areas just kind of cover up some of that blue and because the wax uh, is still a little bit wet or it's not dried up completely it mixes together a little bit and creates a whole new color so that is kind of cool too but once it's dry it's permanent so you won't be able to rub it off so uh, only in some areas it was able to kind of mix together and create that cool color. I'm going to continue to add the bronze color until I am satisfied and this is going to speed it up for you. You're just going to want to get in all of those nooks and crannies and just highlight all of that texture. As you can see, uh, some of that texture from the fabric is now showing up and it just is super cool. I was actually really surprised at how cool this piece looked. Uh, sometimes you can't envision it finished, especially when you're adding a bunch of random things and then painting it black. Um, you just kind of have to go with it and finish the project and hope for the best, I guess. And in this case, I think it looks really, really cool. So to highlight some more of that texture in all of those raised areas, I'm adding the Vintage Silk and as you know it is one of my favorite colors. And every time that I add the wax I am just dipping it into the wax and then the cap I'm just kind of brushing off some of it and then making sure that all of the bristles have some of the wax on it and then just lightly brushing on the wax. I am going to finish up this project with that treasure uh, chipboard piece and that is from Too Crafty Chipboard and then that is going to complete the project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and here is a couple more videos you might enjoy. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this on social media. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And again, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.